Welcome back to Let's Play Cold Cold Heart, the DLC for Batman Arkham Origins. We're deep in the bowels of, uh, of Goth Corp. And as my father would say, it's colder than a witch's titty out here. But not in here, apparently. Odd. Just overheard some penguin goons saying that the man himself He's running into some problems. I wonder if that's why he had, uh... Yeah, that's, that's probably what they're setting up here. This is why the Penguin went out of his way to capture, uh... Mr. Freeze in Arkham City. You know, put him on display in that room filled with heat lamps. Not now. In, in that game, they played it off as uh, Freeze had promised him weapons in exchange for resources, but he was just using those resources to uh, further his research to help Nora. Or something like that? I don't know. But if they set up a pre existing grudge, that would be more in keeping with Penguin's style. Fuck. Oh! It's the big guy himself. I can't even see his skeleton. Or can I? Yeah, I think I can. Before I go in there and plot stuff happens, I wanted to get a thought that I forgot to mention earlier off my uh, chest. I keep finding myself wondering if the next game, Batman Arkham Knight, will mention any of this. Like, not, to, not the DLC chapter. Uh, I don't really see this one being relevant to the plot of that game. I just mean, you know, Batman Arkham Origins is uh, a prequel, and it's made by a different team than the main games. So I don't, you know, so I don't know that. they would make any reference to the events of this game at all. You know, depending on how offended they were that uh, Warner Brothers let another team work on their baby, they might actively uh, go against the events of this game. You know, retcon stuff. Give me Boyle, or I'll freeze this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code you need. And I ain't giving him up. Let's all get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I'm interested in is the weapons I would promise. I know you're on and out on me. This will not end well for you, Commonwealth. <laughs> I think you're confused. About what exactly is about to happen. As soon as you show us that big fishbowl, my boys will blow it up. And if that doesn't, I'll be sure to blow your precious coat right out of Mr. Boyle's brains. Don't talk with the promise. Getting what I was promised ain't got nothing to do with getting what I want. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. Bloody you're supposed to be the genius, aren't you? And you think you can outmuscle me? Have a look around! This was not the deal we made. Yeah, so soon. After you give me what's all in that back room. You, this is your fault. You get me out of this. 
What's Freeze after? Why does he need Boil? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothcorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still in my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Warning. Critical failure in propellant research wing. Please evacuate. What are you waiting for? Get to My Alibi. Get that drill and get back here. I'm amazed that didn't work out worse for him. I wish I could just like put the hamster dance on or something. Does anyone even remember that? Just put some annoying music on loop the entire time I'm gone, just to piss him off. All those Temporary cryostasis. I'll need my thermal gloves to safely release them. Oh! Without the XC suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor. Yeah, they were just saying something like that. Just touching it will turn you into an ice cube. Ah! I knew it! Oh god. Slade, if this thing fails, I'm haunting you. Emergency. Uh. Gotta stay calm and think of something. Okay. Anybody got a flank throw? I feel like I just got punched in the brain. All the exits are sealed and I. Ow. Okay, let's leave these men here to freeze to death, clearly. And, uh... Well, I'll use this, because I can do that. CLEAR! Warning! Critical failure in propellant research wing. Please evacuate. Oh, good. Hey, you know what I just remembered? In Arkham Asylum, there were sequences where you'd be like, in these old ruined parts of the island where you know old buildings used to be and uh... they'd be all crumbly so when you tried to grapple up them uh... it would just you know break off the bit of ground well you know it, it would it, the idea was that it would just break off the ground it attached to and not without being able to pull batman's weight up you know, it's not like you could just wear it down if you just did it a million times but um... The uh, idea, you know, it was just, like, I'm going to have to find another way up, and then you, they would force you through these uh, long, elaborate platform, you know, climbing sections. Guard, an engineer, or a damn snow cone vendor. Fix 
Buton. Embarrassing! Ahem. Here's what really happened. You saw nothing. Where'd you come from? That was incredible! Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. But not them. Because fuck them. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Huh. What's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. Yes. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the bad wing drop it there. It's on its way. Well then, by all means, let's go straight there. I can't remember if the Goth Court building was here in the main game. Hey, I know. Uh, okay, it's in this bit of Coventry that overlaps with the Diamond District. So when I'm done for the day, I'll just go over there and the main game and take a look. Uh oh. Hey guys, let me just deal with your friend here. Ah, well. Dick. Uh, nope. Yes! The time has come! Wait. <clears throat> Say goodbye to this old thing. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was, you know, in that dumpster over there, but okay. Scanned right through his glove. Oh, shit! The thermal gloves are sure to help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir. And the suit will provide protection... Sir, I suggest you deal with the oh, fuck you. activists as soon as you're able. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's starting to say that the... Alfred is starting to say, before he inexplicably interrupted himself, that the uh, suit uh, protects me against cryo-weapons in extreme cold. 
Hey, look at that. Wow. Oh! That thermal batarang. Remote thermal batarang. Triple thermal batarang. I don't know why they have F some. Oh, Fahrenheit! Regular one. Instead of doing that, let's save this man. You know, uh, I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Yeah, this is above and beyond what I was expecting from uh, in terms of, of costumes. <laughs> Look at this thing! And I thought the one from the main game already looked more like armor than the uh, ones in, you know, Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. I wonder. Yep, he can still slow his descent. Thermal gloves, huh? You! 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 Me. Air three responded. How much time is left in the timer? Yeah, okay, let's do that. What the hell? Oh, it's a gun box, I think. Hey, that's not good. There's bombs all over the fucking place. I should do something about that. Maybe I'll call the cops. Gotham is a prison, and the police its wardens. To protect and serve, their motto goes. And they do. To protect and serve themselves. We live in fear of their gaze, their billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the streets, we avert our eyes. We tremble when they speak. Who are these people, really? What drives them? Is it justice? Honor? No. They want power, and the badge gives it to them. And so those we look to for protection instead inspire fear. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. Does that mean he's escaped? Gotham is a prison, and the police its wardens. To protect and serve, their motto goes. And they do. Protect and serve Resist themselves. words. Resistance. Feel their gaze, their billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the street, words. We avert our eyes. Oh. Revolution. Speak. Who are these people, really? Damn it! The bombs are still active. There must be a second failsafe detonator nearby. I don't have much time. Ah, uh, it's on top of this building. You don't have it, that's what the box is.
There it is. It's actually over there, but whatever. I called it being that box, didn't I? Shut up. Okay. Oh, I can do this. Fist of Justice! There. That should do it. Reward unlocked. Quick fire thermal batarang. Shit. And? Ahem. What the? Achievement unlocked down to the revolution. Stop anarchy thug uh, operations in South Gotham. Criminy. Okay, there was the timer. So, I'm going to, uh... Jump cut from here to my investigations into the existence of Goth Corp in the main campaign. Boosh! Alright, on my way to Coventry. Come on, Batwing. Where am I going? Over here. Oh, the building appears to be there. Oh, yes! Fuck, I've been meaning to say this since the first moment I started this DLC. Just an acknowledgement that, uh... They did, in fact, hint at the uh, existence of this DLC. Shut up! By having the, jo having the Joker sing a song called Cold Cold Heart in the ending credits for the main campaign. At the time, I thought it was just a you know, kind of eh attempt at capturing the creepiness of uh, Mark Hamill's Joker po posthumously singing Only You in a uh, voice message he left for Batman on uh, the credits for Arkham City. Uh, so yeah. Hmm. It's interesting, it actually does look different. Which is weird because it's been a week. Gotham City News, so that's not it. Oh, uh, GCN. Interesting! Yeah, it looks like Goth Corp just didn't exist in uh, the main campaign. Awkward. Actually, that's not true. I did. I do remember hearing stuff about it. Just nothing about it being. Uh, you know, it doesn't. It is the building wasn't here. Okay, one final thought before I sign off. Uh. Yeah, I did notice that Batman took absolutely no cosmetic damage for, on his regular suit before he switched to the XZ suit. And honestly, I'm okay with that. You know, I prefer him going through that experience with a pristine suit to the way they handled it in, uh... <laughs> in Arkham City. You know, I mentioned that I was disappointed with, uh... Harley Quinn's Revenge, and one of the specific reasons for that was that they, uh, you know, as part of the storyline of Harley Quinn's Revenge, Batman gets captured by Harley Quinn and, you know, treated like crap for a couple of weeks. 
before Robin comes in to save him. Or is it a couple of days? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. The point is, you know, when you get him, he's a bit beat up. But... He's, uh... You know, they chose to represent this by giving him exactly the same cosmetic damage that he receives over the course of the you know, main Arkham City, Arkham City campaign. You know, starting with having him getting shot in the chest with a grenade launcher by uh, Harley Quinn, and it, you know, inflicting the uh, damage to his chest plate that he got in the main campaign from being shot in the chest by Two-Face's pistol. It's a big bullet hole with burn marks around it. I don't know, maybe it's not that big a deal, but... I, re I was really disappointed that they di you know, didn't bother coming up with new cosmetic damage. So I'm okay with the fact that Cold Cold Heart didn't, uh, didn't just throw this, you know, some of this on Batman before he got the XE suit. And frankly, the fact that they made the XE suit is awesome! You know, just add, it's actually adding more to the Ar Arkham Origins experience than uh, Harley Quinn's Revenge added to the uh, Arkham City experience. I suppose you could play as Robin, but you know, they just set up some scenarios using the gadgets he already had from challenge mode. Anyway, I've been blathering on long enough, so I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Cold Cold Heart. When we head back to my alibi and get our hands on that drill. Later!